What's good guys, it's Kaido here, and today we're going to be talking about why Astro is the best enchant and how to get Astro effectively for your PvE build. As you guys can see here, I got Astro in my PvE build and I'll show you guys and tell you guys everything about this enchant and how to get it. So without further ado, enjoy the video. Now let's go into why Astro is the best enchant for PvE. If you didn't know, other normal enchants are most likely scaled down. This is because Archmage specifically said that Heroism's 20% multiplier is reduced to 5% in PvE. With that logic, we can assume that other enchants like Grim or the Third have a similar reduction in their multiplier. This places Astro as the best, as its 15% damage multiplier is true in PvE. Once you actually get the Astro enchant stone, you basically have it forever. Because once you put it onto that 6% damage uh, Evan's Bit Hand Axe and you got Astro on that shit, even if you wipe, you can always pass it down and make the slot again. That's why Astro is just the most consistent and like the best enchant for PvE. Moving on to the actual methods to get Astro. The first method that I want to talk about and the one that I use to get it is to be a part of a community, innit? Just have, be a part of a guild or be a part of a group of people that play the game consistently and a lot and frequently. And eventually someone in your group or someone will run into the Astral event, the I think it's called the Resonance Dawn event. And you will get the Astral Knight and you will see it. And when that does happen, make sure they know you're actively looking for one. So they will tell you, they will call you. And that's exactly what happened to me. My friend Cello, he was playing the game, he was just running around in Hive. Boom, the event comes, he sees it, he tells tells me and from like castle of light he was holding it for a good 20 minutes and i made my way and i got my astro enchant so yeah that's method number one but the first method is definitely a lot easier less hands-on and just really more passive and something that um, you don't actively do it's just like eventually it will happen um, but the second me method is like a very active process it's something completely different so let's get into that oh yo i got it i got it i got it i got it <laughs> Hell yeah! So credit goes to this guy right here. Um, so in his videos, as you guys can see, he was traveling around Void Sea using um, ice skates to go fly around and basically just try to get as many events as possible. Now his method, he uses a ring of curses to get more um, spawns in and ice skates to just, you know, zip around Void Sea. And because Void Sea doesn't have many events that can spawn, so the few events that can spawn, um, they have a high, like have a high chance, not a high chance, but like a chance that one of them can be the Astral Dawn event. So that's why that method is probably the best for like just straight up getting it actively. It'll probably take you like maybe a day of grinding, maybe two days of grinding. He got really lucky and did get it in 15 minutes into that into his session of grinding it. But yeah, it all just depends on luck. Um, but it definitely is impossible, very easy to get, and a very very good enchant. That basically sums it up, both options are great for getting the Astro in China, like basically are guaranteed. Um, the second option is definitely a lot like quicker and like a lot more hands on uh, than the first option. But if you do have that community there and like people like trying to support you and help you get the enchant, it definitely is easier, a lot easier to do the first option. But it's just preference really. Um, if you found anything in this video useful, make sure you hit the subscribe button, the like button. And if you have any questions about it, um, join my discord, we can talk about it there. And with that said, have a good day everyone.